In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to connect your diffuser to the SV AromaLink app and set it up for the first time. First, download the SV AromaLink app from the iOS App Store or Google Play Store. Once it's installed, open the app and either register a new account or use the social logins. Once you get logged in, you can click on this Bluetooth button in the top. It will ask you for location services and Bluetooth. You have to allow Bluetooth because it requires Bluetooth for the onboarding process. Once you allow that, you'll see this Start Scan button. Click on the Start Scan, and then your Scent Advanced Diffuser will pop up. Click on your diffuser, and it will auto-populate whatever Wi-Fi name that you're connected to and you'll type in your Wi-Fi password. Then hit connect. Once you're connected, you'll see this finish button pop up. Click on that finish button and you'll see your diffuser on the home screen. To make changes to your diffuser, click on that picture of the diffuser and you'll see your power on and off, schedule and intensity, fragrance level, fragrance oil, air sensor, and Wi-Fi connection. If your Wi-Fi connection says not connected, but your machine is still accepting changes, you can ignore that. That's just when it's communicating with the server. This power on off switch is the same as the power switch on your diffuser. So if you're going out of town, you can turn it off. This schedule and intensity tab is where you'll set your programs. So for example, if I hit this edit button, I can come in here and select what days I want it to run. So I'll do Monday through Sunday, what time I want it to start in the morning. So let's say 8 a.m. and what time I want it to shut off in the evening, maybe 8 p.m. Your intensity is up here at the top, one through 10. I typically recommend people start at a three or a four and adjust it from there. Once you have your program set, you can hit update. Once it's updated, you should be able to see the changes reflected on the LCD on your diffuser. This fragrance level is an estimate based on the average viscosity of all of our fragrances. So that's not actually reading the liquid in the bottle. It's just an estimate. So if you can't smell the fragrance, I always recommend going and checking the bottle and making sure there's liquid in there. If you take your bottle out and put a partial bottle in, you can manually enter an estimate of how much is in there, or you can do 50, 75, or 25. This fragrance oil tab is where you can select what scent you have in the diffuser. That doesn't actually change anything in the settings, it's just for you to remember. This air sensor tab is where you can turn your air sensor on or off. Your air sensor, if it is on, the diffuser will only run if it's programmed and it is sensing air moving across the sensor. If it is off, then it will run as long as it's programmed, regardless of air. This minimum sensitivity threshold will be set at 25, and that will be a good number for 99% of installs. If you need to make it more sensitive, bring the number down. If you need to make it less sensitive, bring the number up.